Hello and welcome. I'm Aditya from FalseGraphics.com. So today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use the deformation effect to create a spare from plan image. Okay. So just let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is just create a new file. And yeah, let's see. It's the size is 1,600. Click OK. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just making a field of here. So first we just save to setting this up snap to grid and of course snake snap to canvas edge next I'm going to add a new layer let's call it grass okay just adding up here and I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle over here okay that's it and use a fill bucket to change the color to around green maybe over here and there okay just slide up there very nice now just pressing ctrl save a to deselect everything and I'm going to uh, paint uh, grass in our fields over here so you use the paint brush tool and changing the brush to something that uh, like just by clicking over here and you see the brush okay, just click and create the, the brush and of course start brushing ok now I'm going to change the color to something like there it creates a little bit ok change the color again decrease the size around there just try to make it uh, change the color again just make it random so it feel like uh, it was a real brush of I think that's enough. Next, what I'm going to do is adding a clip art because I'm not going to draw over here. So we just using clip art. Okay, we're using clip art from openclipart.org. So you can download all of them and just using using them freely. It's public domain. Okay, I've already downloaded all of them here. Uh, I got a uh, apple tower and Greek tree and of course the pizza and a statue of liberty Machovka house and our balloon okay, I'll select all of them and I will add them directly to my canvas over here okay so now just leave as default you don't have to change anything if you want you just scale this up I'm going to click OK okay just okay okay and okay one more okay so I will in disable the preview here so now we're just getting this month this up so just uh, I'm going to select the house safety to precise scale move right over here maybe scale it up a little bit Okay, move the middle of the next I'm going to drag of here and here I'm going to drag it's still too big I'm going to resize a little bit scale move right over there okay just Greek tree I'm going to uh, put it in above layer so it will be in front of everything now select the Eiffel Tower. Okay, just scale it a little bit. Move up. Put in here. I'm scaling a bit more. Okay, that's fine. Let's see this. Uh, this statue. And okay, this one. Oops. So, going to wait a minute. Reset. Okay, 
Yeah, okay, scale. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate the tree over here. Just, oops, sorry. Just uh, using M. Scale it up. Scale it down. I mean, <laughs> move to move it back there. Just scale it down again. And we can duplicate. Again and use safety to create over here. Um, just move a little bit and yep. Try it again. Okay, very nice. Now we've done. I think that's enough and just pick a layer. Okay, just move it a little bit here. Okay, that's done for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, merge all of them together okay so first thing that I want to do is just make it invincible so it's just the alpha channel and next select from the above layer and just merge visible layer okay just leave as default so now all of this is merged into one image okay uh, you can adjust the brightness and contrast a little bit click ok next we're going to add a gimmick a deformation spare effects so use a gimmick and choose deformation and choose spare ok this is pure like ok you can uh, adju adjust the w size over here I'm going to use this one Okay, across the radius almost 130, and of course changing the angle over here slightly so the house is up there. Okay, perfect. Maybe move it a little bit. Yeah, just click apply, and okay. So now we have. Uh, our plane image is just made into this one so just press clicking over here and use the alignment tool click and make it in the middle of our canvas just enable this one again okay for uh, next you notice that in the middle of our images there is a hole so we're going to fix this using brush just choose a draw brush that you like and press P to enable it's still too high uh, too, too big so I just scale down a little bit oops too small just sell it from this one can start drawing okay perfect very nice okay so now you just can draw anything if you don't like this one you really want to make it disable okay that's enough for now okay next that I want to do is adding a background so uh, I'm going to use a sky texture okay so next we're going to import our 360 skies okay we've got it from blender that in the forum uh, the, na the guy named optics uh, give it for free. I'll give the link in uh, below in this. If you visit it from blog, and you can see uh, the link to the download sky map is below this post. Okay, just choose what uh, you think is worth for our image here. I'm going to use this one. It's so bright, so just drag and drop. Very nice, and move it up to I uh, move it down so our image is above the layer. M and we drag it to fit our. You can you see that it was so big, so just 
I'll imagine that it was so big. So just moving it around above here is perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the huge sky map into just our render size over here. Okay, so that just select the background and pressing U to get a fuzz tool and select. You got a nice square over here and reselect again the sky photo and right click image and crop to selection done this your image is now uh, cropped into our selection over here okay now we just deselect everything now we can adjust the color curve increase a little bit color of here make it very nice okay now I'm going to duplicate this one and make this one a little bit circular okay first thing I want to do is just adding a filter and blur and add a motion blur you just enable uh, radial okay just leave as default okay just click OK it will take a while when while you render this motion blurring so let's prepare for our balloon okay get back just factor okay this is our balloon we wait until this finish and our balloon is uh we're going to add a balloon or maybe over here and over there we we'll just make uh, this picture rich okay i'm kind of like this uh, very very neat Maybe we don't want it to be what is it in the middle we just erase everything. Okay that finish. Now I'm going to change the the mode of our layer here. Maybe around like uh multiply is very very nice. And maybe something like Ooh. Okay, I like the multiply. Okay, now select our Gmix pair again. Okay, paintbrush. Change it to this one maybe. To increase the size of our brush a little bit. I'm going to erase this one. Yeah. Change it. Okay, very nice. Okay, now I'm going to use one to okay so now our image is ready just using paintbrush going to this leg okay just brush it a little bit Okay, very nice looking. Uh, just a shadowing over here. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to enable the preview of our balloon over here. So by pressing Shift, I'm going to holding Control. Going to scale it down a little bit. Click scale to move it up on this one. Shift R to rotate a little bit. Move it down here safety again I'm going to scale it up I scale it down I mean move I'm going to duplicate around here to save her okay just safety to increase the size a little bit move to move up this uh, safety 
Okay, move this one. I'm going to change the color of this balloon over here by playing this uh, colorize option. Just increase the saturation and changing the hue value down to maybe around that one. Change the likeness. Yeah, maybe around that one. The okay, perfect. Uh, too much likeness maybe. Okay. And just rotate a little bit. Very nice. Okay, last thing that I want to do is just adding some tags. Now let's call home sweet home. Okay, now I'm going to change the phone. I'm going to use Ubuntu Condense. Very light this phone very much. Change the size to 130 and change the color to maybe around yellow over here click ok and close I'm going to use the allen tool to make it in the middle ok perfect and now let's add uh, some shadow by right click and choose filter light and shadow drop shadow just click ok leave as it is ok just click here and here make it chain so now you can move up oh, sorry change to move tool and now you can move be uh just click and oops click oops click and oops sorry by holding control you will see that it will be slightly f uh following the grid perfect right over there okay now we're done with our image over here it's very simple and the result is very fantastic. Okay, I like the result. Uh, you can save this one uh, as JPEG or XGF if you want to edit it later. So, I think uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hope you get some uh, benefit from this tutorial maybe some useful information or whatever okay just uh, if you have a feedback and suggestion for me just be sure to fill in the comment below or send me a message or do whatever okay so thank you very much for watching and see you next time